confused by when and how to safely introduce foods, we got you covered. This is literally the drunk history of food allergy and starting foods. 1880, do not feed your child anything at all, solid food until babies are almost one year old. 1950, jump on it, feed your baby mincemeat at just six weeks old. And 2000, let's just make it complicated. Don't feed your kids anything with cow's milk until 12 months, nothing with eggs until two years, and don't even think about offering nuts or fish until the kid is potty trained. Okay. That was drunk history. <laughs> but that's for real. Drunk history was fun, but food allergies are really no joke. 5.6 million children have food allergies. That's roughly two kids in every classroom. Here are the latest evidence-based recommendations, which I think are more solid than they have ever been. Side note and disclaimer, if you have food allergies in your family history, take note of these recommendations, but an allergist may have more specific guidelines for your baby. Let's first list the big eight. And no, this is not a sequel to This Is Us. There are eight foods that make up a majority of food allergies in people. These are milk, eggs, fish, shellfish, tree nuts, peanuts, wheat, and soybeans. The most common food allergies in kids are milk, eggs, and peanuts. And FYI, lactose intolerance is actually not common in babies and typically only starts showing up after age three in kids. So if there is something going on with your baby's poop or otherwise, it is best to seek help from an IBCLC. By offering breast milk, your baby may be at a lower risk because infancy offers a unique window of opportunity for allergy prevention. If your baby has had any breast milk, this contains nutrients and other bioactive components that could influence infant immune development and potentially help decrease their risk of developing food allergies. What are easy guidelines for best feeding when it comes to food allergies? Well, as of 2019, the American Academy of Pediatrics, NIH, and the WHO all recommend offering a wide variety of foods, including those from the big eight. Does that, does that work? Eight? At six months of age, begin to offer solid foods to baby, one new food every two to three days, so that by slight chance, if there is a reaction, you can know exactly which food may be related. And yes, these foods can include things like peanut butter, eggs, soy, fish, and cow's milk products, like butter and cheese and yogurt. The benefits of exposing baby to foods early is that yes, it may help your baby to build tolerance to food allergens, i.e. help prevent food allergies, and the chance of possible allergic reaction is majorly outweighed by the nutritional benefits of foods like the peanut butter and nut butters and fish and eggs that provide a good source of protein, fatty acids, and choline. We will cover first foods more in the next video. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy mama day. I can't wait for our next video. Until then, follow Nurture Talk on Pinterest for how to's and evidence-based baby feeding tips. And of course, for tailored breastfeeding help from me, just for you, text your best feeding friend through the one and only Nurture Talk subscription.